Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my video is automatically cut when I was explaining about the edition of vectors on a different direction. So I'm just gonna finish with the last example that I was supposed to explain. So if you haven't watched uh, my previous video, make sure you do. So that's why I was showing you these two different examples. Alright, okay. So the only example which was left was this number three I hope you can see clearly and they say four forces act on a point as shown below calculate the resultant force acting on a point so as I was explaining I say whenever you are given four forces I'm given one two three and four so what we're going to try to do we're basically we're going to try and join these all these four forces to have one shape so I'm going to try to join all these four forces to have one shape so I can get my resultant so let's see how we can obtain that. Let me come this side. If it is your first time, make sure you, you do subscribe and you also put a like button so other students they can also watch this video. Alright, okay. So since we are given four forces, you can draw it in, in, in any formation that you want. This for me, I'm going to start with the horizontal force. And then remember, I said the first thing that you need is a scale. So here I can use the scale of one millimeter is equal to one, one newton. So okay, so I have 40 newtons, which is going to be equal to 40 millimeters. So the same kind I'm going to draw the horizontal line. Let me try to make it short, which is 40 millimeter. When this side, and if you check on the 40 uh, newton line, you also have a line which is forming 45 degrees, which is 50 newtons. So you can draw it. As for me, I like to put it this side, I measure my angle which is going to be 45 degrees and then my line which is going to be 50 millimeter. So please make sure you use your protector too to get the angle and then you measure your line using your ruler which is 50 millimeter. Okay, and then from there, I can also see that I have another line which is this, I think I left an angle. Let us just verify what is the angle. For that line is 25, 25 degrees. So what you do, you draw your teeth direction here, you have another line which is going that side, which is 60 millimeters, you measure 25, you have your line which is going this side, which is going to be 60 millimeter, and then you also have another line which is coming down on 10, and then you have uh, an angle of 10. You draw your teeth junction here. And remember, this is just a scale. You measure a line which is going down, which is 30 millimeter. So if you can see, I'm trying to obtain a shape, and then I'm doing all my forces to formulate one shape. So how do you get your resultant? Your resultant it will be the line that is going to measure from this point to this point. This will be your, your answer, and then you can give it the direction. Remember, this is the west, east, north, and south. And then you can measure your angle, and then from here. Then what? 36 neutrons, 8, then you 62 degrees going to the, to the north. So basically, this is how you can treat when you are given four forces acting at a certain point. You just have to join all these forces, you try to get a shape, and then you can get your result in the states. So, this is basically how you can treat the vector. So, I have explained about what is a vector. What is a scalar? How you can do the additioning of vectors on a straight line or when they are opposing on a straight line and also when they are given at a different direction. If you are having any question, make sure you put your, uh, your question on the comments so I can also be able to read and also answer you. See you on my next video.